So we're ready to set our launch compensation. Go ahead and tap Tools and Launch Compensation. There are four types of launch compensation. There's launch only, which you shouldn't be doing today. You should always be using a tail fiber, and that's what we're doing. So go ahead and select the second option, launch plus tail. That third option, launch plus fiber plus tail, is one of those instances, if you forget to do this, you drive to the other end of your fiber link, and you think, ah, I forgot to do this. This tester is smart enough to set the launch compensation when you're actually attached to the fiber. The fourth option is manual entry. Always use this option if you're testing links that have APC connections in there. Now the reason why is the launch compensation works on by looking at the first reflective event. APCs can be so good they don't have a reflective event and then the tester complains it can't find the launch event or it can't find the tail event. By telling the tester specifically where the end of the launch fiber is and where the tail fiber begins, then we'll put the marker at that location and mark the event at that location. So we're ready, set, go ahead and tap set. And you'll notice on here the OTDR port connection quality is shown every time. That tells me my OTDR port connection is good. So on the screen here, we see the length of our launch fiber and the length of our tail fiber. I think we're pretty much good to go. So go ahead and tap save and it's given us a, hey, you just set this and we're gonna record the date that we set this, so that's good. Tap OK and tap Home. Now, if you watched our Certifiber Pro video, you would have noticed that one of the most important things I said when you were setting up the test reference cords was to verify how good the test reference cords are. And we're gonna do that right now. So go ahead and hit the test for me. So they're still connected together as if we were doing launch plus fiber compensation. The OTDR port connection quality is good. That's recorded with every test result. If it's not good, that's gonna have a negative impact on your test results. Now the test is gonna complain here that, hey, there's something not right here because it's expecting the launch fiber, the fiber that you're testing, and the tail fiber. We've only got the launch and the fiber here. The test is smart enough to know that something's not quite right here. That's okay, we're just verifying the, the launch cords here. Tap OK for me, and you'll see the event map. Now on the event map here, you'll see a loss and a reflectance value. What's the loss value on there at the moment, Amanda? Um, 0 0.16. That's a pretty nice value. It's around that, that 0.15 dB value that we're looking for. That's not the most important value here though. The value that I really want to take a look at is reflectance below that. So what's that reflectance number there? Negative 15.78. That's pretty nice numbers. Um, essentially, when you're doing multi-mode, we want this verification here to be at least minus 40 dB. If you're doing single mode, we want that number to hit minus 45 dB. So we know our launch and our tail fibers are good. And this is another advantage of using launch and tail fibers. If you just use launch only, there's no way to verify if your launch fiber is any good or not. So then when you go test and you start seeing problems, you don't know if it's the installation or whether it's your launch fiber.